I'm Liv and I've been puppy caring for three years now and I've had four full-time pups about to get my fifth and we've had plenty of foster pups come through our home as well. These little bundles of joy come into our home and we have to teach them manners and we have to teach them um, how to be polite in the workplace, for example. Um, but then being able to see them progress and learn and, and see how excited they do get to learn is so rewarding for us. You don't need any prior experience to be a puppy carer because one of the wonderful things with seeing eye dogs is that you get assigned a puppy development trainer. These trainers will come and visit you on a regular basis. They'll provide you with the tips and tricks to get you on the journey of them becoming a seeing eye dog. One of the main benefits of having a puppy development trainer available to you is that they provide you with the confidence and the skills to be able to get you through that uh, those first few weeks particularly, but also through the rest of the dog's journey while they're with you in your care. It is a bittersweet moment when we do have to give these puppies back to go in for formal training. We've spent so much time training them, getting to know them and bonding with them. But at the end of the day, we know that they're going in for the right reasons and they're going in to help someone who's blind or has low vision and can actually provide them with the life that they choose. Hi, my name's Brittany. I'm a client of Vision Australia uh, Seeing Eye Docs. Um, I have a condition called uh, macular degeneration and diabetic retinopathy. Um, I've only had this for about five years, so I did recently lose my sight when I was 22. I wasn't too sure if I wanted a seeing eye dog until the day I got off the train at Flinders Street and I accidentally tripped a lady over um, on the platform. I felt horrible about hurting the lady and then also it was daunting and very scary making my way through the city for the rest of the day. When I got matched with the seeing eye dog, um, I got an amazing phone call. Um, I remember I was in the back of a taxi and one of the trainers had called me. They were so excited to tell me uh, that they had a dog that they believed would be great to match with me. Uh, described her to me as a black uh, retriever. <laughs> I was so excited to meet Kuma. I was also a little bit unsure on like, what I could do or what I couldn't do, uh, but she was so confident and strong in her movements and it only took maybe two turns that she took me and we avoided obstacles and I didn't trip over anything. and. It was just awesome. Um, I never felt more fast and more free. <laughs> Having Kuma in my life has made it a lot quicker, a lot more exciting. I'm so much more confident. Uh, when I do have feelings of panic or fear or anxiety, it's almost like she knows and she looks up at me, she rests her head on me and she calms me down. All I have to do is give her a pat and I always know she's by my side. There's always somebody there looking out for me, which is a really great feeling, especially when I'm not relying on another human. I'm relying on somebody that is there just for me. It changes not just my life, but everybody that I know that has a seeing eye dog. They're all happy. All their lives have changed for the better. I would love to thank every carer that looks after a seeing eye dog. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have such amazing, beautiful, well-behaved, socialised, amazingly trained dogs that we don't have to do that. They take the time, they take that effort to do that for us, people that they possibly would never meet. Vision Australia. Blindness. Low vision. Opportunity. Three navy blue linked ovals form capital letters V and A within a bright yellow rectangle.